Hello everybody, it is Rough Bro, and I just got back from uh, Mid Kansas Live um, in Wichita, Texas, or Rose Hill, Texas, or not Texas, Kansas, oh my gosh. Um, I just got back from a four hour drive back to my house, and I am officially unpacking, and I'm also in the background, if you hear like a fan going, it's because my computer is working really hard to download all 306 uh, photos that I took while at the show. I also judged uh, the OF Halter Division, which consisted of Briars, Peter Stones, and other um, of traditional and mini scale. Um, so that was uh, fun. And then I also uh, showed uh, nine horses and um, and I got one in a raffle. So you're gonna see all 10 of those horses. Um, and <laughs> and um, what they placed and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna, I have my tote right here and I'm just gonna do them as I pull them out and I'm not gonna pull the ribbons out with them because I didn't actually keep any ribbons uh, below first um, because that just, I don't keep them because uh, I don't have enough room to keep all of my ribbons. Um, but I've already put them in the, like their little my binder and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna, uh, take them out and but I will show rosettes because those I have to actually put up on my on my wall or on my window um so I have those so I'll show you those but um yeah let's get so let's just get started because there's only 10 horses so uh, this probably will be a pretty short video all right so first being pulled out of the box is um sketch and smoke what his show name is and he is by Raven Medlock um and he got third in his uh, thoroughbred class. And I should mention that um, all these classes were mini and traditional. Um, so he got out by some, beat out by some traditional um, horses, um, but that's okay. I still love him very much and he's such a sweetheart. And sorry, the, the lighting is not the best right now in my room. Um, so yeah, that is his kitchen smoke. He got third. Next up is this guy, and he is new. Um, I got him from uh, Bambi, or aka uh, Mother Mule, on um, on Instagram. And uh, she was actually originally going to donate him to the raffle, but I, I saw him and I thought he was kind of cute, and I've always wanted this mold. Um, and uh, I plan to eventually get him redone, probably, because um, the color's not great. Um, and that's all right, but... Um, I showed him anyway, just because I got him before, uh, I was able to, uh, I had to show anything, so, um, he got sixth in, in Appaloosa class, so, um, which I wasn't mad about at all, um, especially since I didn't think he'd place at all, so. Next up is another, uh, little pebble I got, um, I bought the show, um, this is, uh, like uh, the little Arabian uh, Peter Stone uh, custom uh, into this like nice little gray, uh, and she has like uh, shoes, painted on shoes, um, and uh, she got. Uh, oh wait, uh, yeah, no, I, did, I was able to show her. Um, she got third in her Arabian mare class again. There was traditionals and uh, stimulates and all that kind of stuff. So um, I was really happy to see her place well. So next up is uh, my, well, my first resin of the day. Um, this is my uh, Adib resin painted by uh, Kingston Studios on Instagram. Um, sorry if you hear talking outside. Um, he ended up placing first in the Arabian, Resin's Arabian class, which I was super excited for. I couldn't believe it. Um, and then after that, he... Ended up getting a reserve champ um, for the light division, um, and I was super, super happy for him because uh, he usually never places that well. Um, and this is, and I had a lot of those placings uh, over the weekend. A lot of horses that I didn't think would place as well um, place. So um, just because your horse doesn't place good once doesn't mean it won't ever, ever place good. So. Uh, this is that sign, so don't get rid of that horse if you really if you really like a horse. Just because it doesn't show up doesn't mean you mean you should get rid of it. So he did really well, and I was really ex excited about it. So all out blitz, a little Kronos 
uh, resin uh, painted by uh, Brie Cundiff uh, got me a second in the thoroughbred class, uh, resin thoroughbred class, and uh, he got a NAN card. Um, he did not get anything after that, but that's okay. Um, he's still a really nice guy, and um, I still uh, love him to death. Um, and uh, he actually did really well. Sometimes he doesn't do that great because a lot of uh, judges don't necessarily like the unrealistic colors on thoroughbreds. Or not unrealistic, I shouldn't say that. Um, more unique colors on thoroughbreds. They just like the standard colors on thoroughbreds. So um, I was really happy that he ended up getting something. Um, so yeah. The other horse I purchased alongside the uh, little Arabian pebble over there um was this girl um i don't know what kind of resin she is i don't know who painted her uh or i, I do know who painted her it's on her her base uh sail bay sail bay studios um painted her i'm not sure which resin she is i haven't looked at her yet um but uh she was just too cute to pass up um so i ended up taking her um and she ended up placing uh, third in the Mustang class. Um, I was really happy about that, and she's super, super cute. Um, and I just, I just love her roaning. She, um, they did a really nice job on her, the person who painted her. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited to have her on. Next up is this girly. She's also painted by Brie. Um, she's a super nice one as well. Um, and was in the thoroughbred class with my uh, sketch and smoke, and she got sixth, which I was kind of disappointed about. Um, but I guess it depends on the the judge um, if they like her or not. Um, but I was super proud that they even placed anyway, just because um, there was obviously traditional customs with them. So I was happy about it, um, and I, I still love her anyway because she's super super cute. Um, so yeah, that is. Just her. Here was the one I did not get to show, and I won her in the raffle. Um, I put in fifteen dollars worth of tickets, um, and I won her um, because she is a Linda, Linda something. I forget what her last name is, um, but I have always loved her customs, and I just I fell in love with this girl, and she is so cranky and angry, and I just absolutely love her. Um, so I didn't get to show her that day because they did the raffle drawings after the customer division had uh, concluded, but I cannot wait to show her at, um, in three weeks at, at Show Me Stay Live in New York Show. So she will be coming to that and she will hopefully wreck. So yeah, that is, that is her. Next up is Noreg by Walnut Lane Studios. Um, and he was kind of an interesting guy just because uh, I asked the judge where she wanted him um, because Nan likes his breed as a gated horse, but he's not, the horse is not necessarily gated, like the breed, I guess some of them are gated, but um, he does not look gated and I didn't, you know, so we put him in other light, which wasn't the best idea either because he was up against like saddlebreds and other stuff like that and other gated thing or some American gated stuff and so he got first in his class um which I was happy about but in the championship he just he didn't do it just because of that um this girl was my biggest win of the day and she was the last one of the day um the judge absolutely loved her I uh, thought she was super cute. Um, she's my little Bramby by, uh, I'm not sure who she's by. She is dated a little bit right there, but I'm not sure who that is. Um, I will eventually figure it out. Um, but she got first in her late foals class. Um, and then she got a champion for me. Um, in the full division. Uh, she didn't get anything overalls, but that was all right because she's super cute and just super, I mean, she's a very nice little Arabian filly sculpt. I mean, she's just, she's just so precious. Um, I was thinking about getting her repainted eventually, but I don't think I will. 
And if you are counting at home, you know that we are on the last pony. Um, this is my finished resin um, that I've been actually trying to sell for the longest time. And I put her $200, probably under what she's probably worth or probably or what I traded for her. Um, not thinking anything of it. Nobody was interested, whatnot. Um, probably because of her shipping cost because she is seriously heavy. Um, but uh, I decided, because she's still in my possession, that I would show her. I would show her anyway, just to see how she does. Um, and hopefully maybe, maybe increase her value. What not. Um, so she got, I'm so sorry for the vacuum in the background. Um, she got first in her British pony class. They wanted European ponies and British instead of other, um, which I was super excited about. Um, so she got first and she got an A card with that. And I was okay with that. And I put her into the overall for pony division, pony slash other division. Um, and she ended up placed or getting a reserve champ. Um, so I was super excited about that because, you know, I had I tried to sell her for so little, so I have another opportunity to sell her with this new ribbon and stuff, so um, I was super excited about that. I don't know if she'll leave now, um, but she'll definitely go up in price again and just go to 300 like I was originally trying to sell her for and see if she sells like that. Um, so she's actually undefeated with me because um, she's got first in her first show. Uh, obviously don't have the NAN card for that because it wasn't NAN qualified. And then she got first here and then that reserve champ here. So she has a really good show record right now. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. And this is actually a few days later when I'm editing this. I didn't realize I didn't make an outro. So I'm making that right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoy all my placings. Um, uh, comment who your favorite of uh, the group was. Um, and also check out my Instagram, um, at roughbro. Um, for all of my show pictures that I mentioned, um, it was, it was really fun to take all these pictures and I've slowly been uploading them. So, um, yeah, um, <laughs> make sure to, um, subscribe and hit a like, that like button. It really helps me out. Um, and also drop some other video suggestions down below. Um, uh, it's really appreciated. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.